Teal Road, the home ground of Maynard United for this afternoon's National League clash between the home side and Dorking Wanderers. My name is Keith Higgins, I'll be your commentator for today's game, joined by Michael Shapiro. Welcome, Michael, good afternoon. Afternoon, Keith. Petit on the ball. Smith. Daniel George had a good start coming back into the side today. Calmly finds Massey, still on the ball. Danger getting crowded out, but still on the ball, Nathaniel George. Beckwith. Low cross, and he's found the net! Sam Beckwith! Ten minutes gone, and Sam Beckwith finds himself in the penalty area with a bit of space. Turned, I think he mishit the shot slightly, but the ball bubble pass mail into the park. Well, not quite the corner, just inside the post in the side netting. I well, say so against the run of play, but a little bit of a surprise there. But 10 minutes gone, Maidenhead in front, Maidenhead one, Dorking Wanderers nil. Almost a nice touch for Ferdinand there by Abraham, but cleared by Dorking. Nice flick though by Pryor, and Carter will pick the loose ball up. Carter on the edge of the penalty area, cutting inside, he got some room. And he scored. Beat Ross at the near post, and keepers never like do, to be seen to be doing that, but. 13 minutes gone and a very quick response there by Dorking. Carter with the goal. Seemed to have a bit too much room when he came into the penalty. He was able to cut back inside and the defence were a little bit slow in picking it up. And but that's very well on two occasions there to blob the ball and uh, showing all his experience, the uh, ex Gillingham and AFC Wimbledon defender. Club captain, uh, not club captain, captain for the game today. <coughs> Reece Smith will pick up the loose ball and Smith will break forward. Smith on to the penalty, he tries to shot, here's the post and he's going in! Smith with a beautiful solo goal, picking up the loose ball in midfield, ran 20 yards, edge of the penalty area. His shot beat Mail to his right hand side, struck the inside of the post, ran along the line, but fortunately for Maidenhead, crossed the line into the side netting. I'm sorry, the wind's blowing, of course, but uh, no, it's a fair point that uh, needs good judgment. Pettit and Ferdinand get in each other's way, but uh, Ferdinand takes responsibility and finds Mitchell Lawson. Chance to attack, then he does well, Mitchell Lawson, good attack. Breaking forward into the penalty area. Got to get the shot in, and he scores! Mitchell Lawson with a fine individual goal. First goal here at York Road for Jaden Mitchell Lawson. Picked the loose ball up and really did attack. Something we know he's capable of, but attacked the Dawkins defence. Thought he'd been forced out wide, but with his presumably slightly weaker left foot, shot beautifully across Harrison Mayo. Mitchell Lawson, Abrahams. Didn't really put the keeper under pressure, although he did hold it and keep hold of the ball. Didn't let it squirm away. Quick break though by Dawkins. Blair. That's the low crossing. Let's get the ball back. Luke Moore. Thought he was going to have a shot there. Gets the ball to Mewitt. Mewitt tries to get the cross in. And it's there. It's a headed goal that's brought them back into the game. Dawkins have got the first goal in the second half. And it was Mouet who got to the byline, pulled the ball back. Just waiting for the goal scorer to turn round so I can identify him. Maintains his position as the leading goal scorer of Maidenhead. There's still time. Oh, Abrahams has intercepted the ball. Can he run forward? He can. Abrahams. He scores! Picked up the loose ball as Craig tried to find Frankham. Showed a coolness that we don't normally associate with strikers here at Maidenhead, but ran onto that ball, checked inside with his left foot, curled it beautifully past Harrison Mayo. First goal for Tristan Abrahams. Maidenhead four, Dorking Wanderers two.